Good morning everybody. Today we've got to do a little bit more panicking because it's been ordered by the government. Um, so I just thought I'd have a lie-in so that I could um, prepare myself for the extra panic and hysteria. So I'm making um, pancakes for breakfast but um, I've replaced the, the milk with hand sanitizer. Well done son, taking good precautions. Okay guys, I'm just kidding around, don't be offended. The, the, the curfew, the lockdown is gonna be Monday, but they're already putting it into place today, Sunday. So there's police on the street telling people to lock your doors and windows if you want to stay alive. Sorry, I'm doing it again. So there's, there's police on the street telling people to go home. Um, thankfully, we live quite near a nature reserve so I can sneak out like a rebel and go out and wander in the wild cactus patches of the south. So Lucas has been told as well that he has to stay at home. Apparently someone's just been stopped at one of the beaches uh, by a Honda or something like that in Tenerife. Mm -hmm. They've been charged 500 euros by the police because they're not respecting the, um, the isolation order and the, the state of emergency. So, so we're not allowed to go out at all? I'm seeing how long it takes us to go insane. I think it's already started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're in lockdown now. I've just come out onto the street because I needed to put the rubbish out. But actually there's quite a few people just out on the street walking their dogs or their children. In the cities they're actually patrolling with loudspeakers saying stay indoors. All the beaches are closed. You can't just go and chill at the beach. Because of this lockdown <laughs> there's actually more buzz around the residential areas near now. You can hear like the clatter of plates and people chatting and people standing at their windows and their balconies and stuff like that so yeah it's rather nice 